We want to think, how can I embrace this human condition and take a positive mindset on it? Because if we adopt that, then we, start, we stop fighting the inevitable and we can start taking an influence and changing those little behaviors that we can exert an influence over and accept that maybe some things we can change. The, what we call facticity. You know, I, I, I think you cannot choose whether you're born or not, even though there's this lawsuit now of the antenatalist who sues his parents for giving birth to him because he didn't agree to it. <laughs> That's a thing. And there's a philosophical argument for it. So it's not complete nonsense. That's why it's allowed in a courtroom. Like, wow. And a, a yogi master once challenged me on that. He's like, oh, thrownness, uh, this existential concept of we're being thrown into this world. We cannot choose which language we speak when we, are like, when we learn to speak a language. So it, I think it's comforting to know that we're getting thrown into this world. At some point, we're getting ripped out of it. We don't really know when and how. I find comfort in that. You know, other people say like, well, wait, do you really know that? There's, there's people who I've discussed this at depth with who say, no, I did have a choice there. I believe I chose to be here in this world. And imagine how good that feels if you believe that you chose to be here. It's hugely empowering. And it's interesting to just see the faces because some is like, oh, yeah, absolutely. And some is like, that's absolute and utter bullshit. 